Hello everyone, my name is Uthurst and welcome to a new episode of Banished. Last time we went ahead and finished the market square over there on the uh, left upper portion of the screen. It looks lovely and, and the city is really coming together. I'm, I'm, this might be the best city I've ever built in Banished. Everything seems to be working right now. And um, we have just a little bit of time before another food shortage might take out some of our population. We're really overpopulated because all the homes that we built in the city um, were really due for a correction anyway. So um, I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> this episode we're going to be building up here though. Up on the northern center district. And this is going to be more housing. It's going to be more um, production and some more dock works, right? So. Uh, pretty much everything above this road here is going to be more industry to get refining uh, materials and blacksmiths and maybe some some advanced crafting uh, done and then this is going to be just some light and uh, kind of residential stuff right so so more of pretty much this southern look to it so let's go ahead and get started um, i went ahead and cleared the land already everything's on pause just so we don't starve and die before i finish placing all my structures and I want to go ahead and try and get some some homes in first I really like these DS comfortable stone houses this is like the the definition of what I wanted my uh, city to kind of look and feel so we're going to uh, kind of stick with them for the most part throughout the series and because they're just nice cozy looking homes um, we're gonna <clears throat> only take it to about there and I need a access street for this back dock area so we're gonna be splitting this this block up into two sides we might do some different types of row homes maybe maybe put in some of these thatch ones I'm not sure they they do look nice still but uh, they're just not as clean looking, I guess, as the other ones. But they will suffice. We can fit a nice kind of duplex in that area and uh, seal that off as well. So we got some homes going along the, the canal, which will look lovely and provide some, some easier access to work locations on the northern side of the market, right? Because we don't have homes really in here we have a little bit as a filler here and there but the these northern areas don't really have a whole lot of workers close to it so they're all kind of being pulled from the southern side of the town which which is totally fine um you know that's that's still within reason and because this is all stone roads they can get there pretty quick and the market's nearby to kind of facilitate it but you know having homes up here i think will be really nice Okay, now there is the unique homes, these like three-story ones. Um, I wouldn't mind putting these kind of along the main road too. They all look lovely. And this one I'm gonna kind of use as a, as a good way to get like an alley going. Kind of and, and do a little bit of a back road through here because we're gonna need it and we might even put a little road there and another road here just because um you know i, I want to have a little bit of movement and side streets uh, up in these areas right and this i'm gonna just kind of split this in half and then in quarter so kind of like that and that'll be enough. Those, those will be kind of <clears throat> the back alleyways of the northern district here. Now, rest of homes. Um, it's going to be keeping with the vibe that we currently kind of set forth. To no, no one's surprise, probably. So, these journeyman homes are great because of uh, their size, but also their shape. Uh, the way they interact with the road and the fact that they have some overhang is definitely lovely and we can even um, plop some down uh, in ways that it, it will interact with the canal a little bit more directly so 
let's do something like that. Just to have some a variety of shapes and structures. Now these homes up in the north might be a little bit fancier than the south. Um, actually, no, I don't. I don't think I will use some of these homes. They're just a little too much. I think we'll start using these artisan homes, these office town homes, and the family town homes, kind of more on this district because the church is here and, and some probably. Uh, more higher end uh, luxury structures might be through that area, so we'll, we'll try and hold off on that. Um, though they just they just almost looked too good to pass up, but we we got them. We'll have to pass them up. So this is like some sort of tower attachment for the journeyman structure, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary. At all, there's a gable townhome. Well, these look fancy and nice. Um, at the same time, um, they are within reason, I'd say, for the area. How's this look? Yeah, I think that. I can't do this because the way the building kind of overhangs on the alleyway, so that should work just fine. And then maybe in the back areas, we are going to have some more... There's town abodes and then there's country homes. We'll do some country homes, I think. Can I get uh, two in here? I think so. It would be nice to kind of turn around and face the waterway. And then we can try and find, maybe if we go to set pieces, sometimes this is a good way to find little little fillers, right? Because you can find the uh, these type of row homes. So they're definitely different than the others. Uh, we have used them a little bit in the lower area. You can see them here. Um, but I like the red roof. So let's, let's try and do something with the red roof. Uh, how do I want to do this? Do I want I want two story along the main road at the very least? So let's find the red tile roof with the white plaster and dark wood. I mean it looks lovely. And we need a middle section with the upper balcony and then an end piece here. And then we'll get a new middle with an upper window. You can see this is a bit of an issue. The the they're not going to perfectly line up and touch, but that's that's fine because what I can do is I can put like trees or shrubs or something in the, that little area to kind of fill it in, <clears throat> so it can work out. What I can do back in here, if I can do it right, I don't think I can. Maybe this is the only spot. Mm -mm. I really wouldn't have mind using this like two-story gated structure could have been cool to kind of squeeze in there but alas you know we'll just have to keep poking around at things until we find some structures that might fit this little back area a little better this uh, MG house one is pretty unique looking it requires a surprisingly large amount of space though. It can fit back here. Especially if I kind of bump it onto the canal a bit. If I do that, I might be able to find another little spot for this one. I like this little L-shaped house with the uh, center tower going on. 
think that looks pretty unique and good. So if I do something like that, that can be, kind of rests in that corner. This is like the tier zero home in a way. Medieval town, I think there might be some good options here. Yeah, I might be able to do a couple two stories off these. So let's find a nice looking yeah, we'll, we'll try this little L shape, and when I put the second story over it, kind of like that, we'll do just a full balcony. Yeah. And this is a big, like, hostile thing, which, which we could do as a big corner piece in this area. Hostels in the game are really nice for, um, you know, accepting those nomads and travelers that you, you'll find in the game. So, like, for example, since it's a corner piece, we can kind of slap it here. And then the second story, we'll just slap on top. Do I want the third story? I don't think so. That might be a little too much. But we'll, we'll, we'll build it just to see what everything kind of looks like. I think I built it in the wrong spot. Here. Uh, medieval Town, right? That's, that's the mod we were in. Sometimes I will forget. Not sometimes. I forget more often than not. Okay, so that'll provide a, you know, a big cornerstone building. Kind of to offset this two-story here. So that's a lot of the homes. If I want to talk industrial stuff, we should probably go straight to the dock set a little bit and see what we have there. So, so we have fisheries. Those are cool. Uh, do we have a different type of fishery? I think we do, but um, they're even more rustic looking. Doesn't really make sense. If we go to the food gathering, section and find some different fisheries you might be able to find like a cool honestly the classic one still looks nice in my mind you know and i can kind of come out from the uh, dock entrances a bit so let's have just a couple fisheries up here that could be cool and if I go to the collections again. Mm, clay lock, locker, no. Clay barn, no. Those are, these are like homes. Kind of like waterside homes and stuff. I mean, they're, they're okay. I'm gonna be wrong, but. something just a bit passable right and then as you fill in all the details things will generally kind of fall into place on their own so we got some medium stone houses we got uh, these are like custom these aren't too interesting I don't think these are like forest log homes they're they're nice looking if I wanted to do like a forest village uh, a friendly tavern I don't I don't think the friendly stuff looks too good personally Businesses. This is like small stuff. Wonder if I can fit a market in here.
Nah, not here. I, if I put a market, I might put it closer to the industrial side, just so it's a little bit farther away from the main market, but it can provide some access to tools and stuff to the workers, and uh, that should suffice more than anything. So there's these homes, which are nice, and they can kind of, um, they don't fit. Let's do something like this. Maybe. Oh, man, we are one one spot off. That's just the way it goes. A lot. Yeah, we can we can plop one there. This is like a small tower. This is like a keep core, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. Production. Like a small butcher's. I have a weird shape here. It's like a two wide that goes into a three. Definitely an odd shape. Some sort of storage building. These are, these I haven't really seen before. This is autumn leaves. It's a tavern of some kind, I think. It's a happy little tavern. I don't think we have much room for it though. Definitely a kind of a unique building. Could do well, kind of bumped up against here. Candle maker, don't really care about that. Uh, tailor, I think we really have enough of them based off the last area of the town that we made. School, I don't think that fits anywhere. I'm, I got, I think I got lucky with the tavern. That it fit at all. I don't really see good, any good waterside industries that I needed. Do we have an ale house? I think so. I think we made one. So there's gem cutters. These are kind of fancier stuff. There's a melting house. We need this. This is uh, for making currency, I believe. So I think this would be fine to kind of stick down here. Because of that, we're gonna need kind of a larger fuel refinery because we might run into a situation of needing a whole bunch of fuel. And I also need a large blast furnace as well. This is this is like the biggest furnace that you can make in the mod set. Okay, so we're starting to lay down some industries along the coast here. Might help. What other industries do we not have? Glassworks, glassworks. These are literally the same, but we already have glassworks. Shipyard, we already got two shipyards. I think there's a type of food thing that we can get, like a wharf and ship. And considering how big this water area is, this could be a good option for us to finally start getting some large boats out here. I want to get it out as far as possible because we're going to be eventually getting two, I think. And I want them just kind of catty corner to each other with maybe one space in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten the terrain where it needs to be. Think about there, right? And then food, we'll get that, we'll get the wharf.
about like so. So those, those are some key items uh, to get building here. It's gonna take a while to even just get this amount done. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get it all built right about now. And here it is. This is the finished uh, kind of northern, yeah, the northern district uh, up here. Now this is this is a, a probably a medium-sized district in my opinion. Um, not quite as big as the southern, but uh, about as, as dense. And it has a whole bunch of industrial warehousing, um, some kind of more profession buildings, and a little bit more of a larger ship dock than the southern area. So we'll go ahead in and see how everything turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. It's definitely a lively area because of all of the jobs up here. You get a lot of traffic kind of going uh, up this main road and down to the marketplace to pick up goods to kind of bring into the workspace which is good. Um, I, I really wanted to have a lot of movement of people and it seems to be working for the most part. Uh, the building kind of variety here is interesting to say the least. I don't think it's, it's exactly what I want, but um, it's definitely pretty good. Um, we, we get a few key block shapes forming around uh, uh, the main street with a couple kind of riverside homes and uh, a couple homes kind of tucked into back alleyways just to make it feel just that much more dense. I added some foliage kind of through here uh, along some homes and and their backyards and stuff just to kind of fill in some of the dead spot to make it feel uh, a little bit more lively and a little bit more lived in than possibly just a big dead area. I also uh, went back into the market square and added a few trees here and there just to kind of make that pop out a little bit too. We have a guardrail going along the canal pretty much on all sides. Make sure, you know, we gotta make sure we we're up to code. Uh, this guardrail here it seems to be not quite where I want it, so I'll have to fix that at another time. Um, the dock has some interesting structures, some, some boats that are aesthetic, and then some boats that are for whaling, and whaling boats are interesting. Um, they provide some meat and blubber and, and some general fish type of, of food sources, which is really cool. Um, I actually need to update, we need I think nine total whalers so that we can get these fully staffed and get a good amount of food coming in. I, I just made the docks though in the warehouse district over here. Uh, I figured we kind of needed one anyways and this is something that I kind of remembered seeing a lot uh, kind of in Boston when I was up there in that city a few years ago. Um, I went down to its like big pier area and all the old kind of row homes and, and kind of warehouses and, and shipping uh, areas that would be there during the, the age of you know tall ships and stuff were kind of there and and having these long buildings just for storage um, seemed to be pretty common so I just kind of copied that feel and just kind of made it a little bit messy to make it look like the dock is kind of a more bustling place than maybe it would be otherwise. So all of these will get hopefully filled up. We have some distribution barns, you know, things to try and just store stuff that we don't need taking up other storage long term. So I could put extra food in here and then release it when we have a food shortage. That could be cool to do. Um, so there's some strategy involved in that. Uh, we got another melting house. This one's making gold coins. This one's over here making silver coins. So we have some currency printing being done. Uh, fuel refineries. We got blast furnaces pumping out some iron. We got a couple blacksmiths. One, some making iron fittings, which is kind of an advanced construction material. Um, and then some steel tools um, to try and get some better quality tools here in the city. Because I think that would be cool to have, you know, a little bit more steel involved. A bunch of covered cargo space through here. And it looks pretty good. But I think we definitely succeeded in the look and the feel so far. Uh, we have completely finished the northern through southern road. Um, and it, it's it's pretty stunning to see all these buildings and, and everything kind of active and all the people coming and going into the market square and, and down the main streets. We don't we have mostly vertical movement through here uh, currently, 
um, but I can't wait to get more uh, left-right movement as well if I actually orientate north-south here. And this is, yeah, this will be interesting. I think the the Eastern District is going to be two episodes, just because of how big it is. It's, I think, the biggest district that we have in terms of total usable area. So that'll be interesting to see how that turns out. And this will just make this feel even more bustling. And then we'll, of course, get the High Garden District kind of last. So the little thoughts for the future, we have a church laid out. Uh, over here and also another trading post just so that we can get some more trade in through the city and keep everyone all healthy and safe you can see I have a lot of people dying from old age right now so a lot of our kind of graveyards are getting a little full which is kind of normal and to be expected uh, this will also have a market square and uh, I think we might do a cathedral in the high garden district because we definitely have a model for one and it'll be cool to have like a really big um, kind of that big civic building that kind of makes its mark on this large area. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying Banished as always. Um, we are winding down, right? We're, we're, we're getting close to finishing up the city. And after that, this series will be over once this is done. Uh, so definitely leave a like, leave a comment if there's anything uh, that you want to see before the series is over. Or if you have any other suggestions or ideas, definitely let me know. And we'll see you in the next video.